This is Heinz Hornung speaking, CEO of Felicitas Customized Engineering. With this short video I will um, walk through the tutorial of PCBSIM. For this I have opened on the left hand side Eagle and on the right hand side Felicitas PCBSIM. And now I'm browsing, browsing through the, uh, to the examples folder which is under projects, examples, Felicitas. And here I am opening tutorial. Here we go. And uh, the tutorial um, has two pages. The first um, page is a very simple schematic which has been or which has not been prepared for the simulation. The second page is the same schematic which has been prepared for, for simulation. And now I'm showing which steps are necessary to simulate this simple circuit. It's a very normal circuit um, which consists of uh, two transistors, a number of passive components and a 9 volt block battery. What I'm doing right now to check first is I'm pressing here the simulate current sheet button which transfers the schematic directly to PCB SIM. Of course, PCB SIM has to be open for this. So I'm pressing this right now. And what happens is that the components here are transferred to PCB SIM and we see in the components tree view a number of components here. Um, but we are missing one, which we will see in a moment. So if I'm going to messages, to the message tab, this is the fourth tab here. I have warnings and the most important warning is the warning about G1 and PCB SIM is, is um, saying could not determine type of component G1 ignoring component. Well, this is uh, clear because G1 is a component with two pins and named G1. It's very hard to guess what this type of component is. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making a right mouse click here, going to PCB SIM. So we have a new context menu entry PCB SIM for each component. Opening this, and it says this component is excluded from the simulation. Use change type to change its type if you want to have it simulated. I want to, so I press change type. And now I can choose how PCB SIM should simulate this. I want to have it simulated as a voltage source and I say it's a 9 volt DC voltage source. Pressing OK. So what happened is these settings are now stored in attributes within the schematic of Eagle. So all simulation settings are really within the schematic. So what I can do right now is I can transfer the schematic again, simulate current sheet. And what happened is on the tree view here we see G1. And now I try to simulate this by pressing the button here start simulation. Yes, already done. Nothing to be seen currently on the screens. In order to see a certain signal I expand the component, highlight any signal I want and press the spacebar. Now I can see the rectangle which uh, the circuit should create. Um, in order to more um, conveniently look at, at signals, I can add a so-called probe um, which allows me to immediately show the signal or certain signals after the simulation. Um, and so I don't need to select it each time and um, uh, uh, make it visible again. Oh, this is taking a bit. I, has, I have to use Felicitas, Felicitas simulation library and add it again. So here we go. Now I'm adding this to the transistor collector signal here. And what I can do is again, I make a right mouse click, choose PCB SIM, and now I can select how, how the signal should be displayed. I'm making it wide and a bit wider. 
And so if I simulate this again, simulate Karen Sheet, press the start simulation button, we have a nice little rectangle here. In order to um, control the simulation settings itself, we have to add a special symbol from our simulation library called Sheet Simulation Settings. And this would now allow me to control all different settings for the transient analyzers, which we're doing right now, for example, how long we should simulate and in which steps. Then we could have DC sweeps, AC sweeps, and so on. There are all different um, examples which highlight these different possibilities. So this concludes our very short tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye for now.